Hello guys, Dr. Carlo Ojed, emergency physician. I've been wanting to do these segments for quite a while in terms of uh, recommendations for medical students, advice, and I think I'm going to do a couple of videos targeted at you, the pre-med or medical students. And one thing is, the dream of being a doctor is having your stethoscope around your neck and uh, which one should I buy? Medical schools tell you you have to have one that has a bell and a diaphragm. These are two parts of the stethoscope where they're meant to listen to different kinds of sounds when you're listening to the chest or the heart or bruits and murmurs and things like that. But I want to offer you some practical advice from somebody who's owned every stethoscope out in the market. Why? Because I lose them. Because I break them. So after a while it can sum up to a lot of money. Yes, you can make the argument, if I buy a good stethoscope, I'm going to take good care of it and use it for 30 years. You might be one of those lucky ones who actually does take good care of their stuff. But in the emergency department, changing shifts, changing scrubs, uh, putting these things in a locker, go and get them later, uh, running out the ER because you're finally free to go home, you lose them. You lose them very much so. So if you buy the cheapest one versus the more expensive one, I, that's what I want to talk to you about. I put some videos here on some different kinds of stethoscope. This first one I'm going to show you is the, one of the last ones I actually bought. I bought the best one on the market, the Litman Sound Isolation, Sound Digitize, uh, whatever. You turn the thing on, it makes the sounds really loud, it has some noise canceling system. But here's the cons. The diaphragm falls off, now you have to find some kind of glove to cover it or to clean in a special way and the actual diaphragm part of it stopped making contact so it's not even making sound anymore. So I have a $300 stethoscope that does not work. The second one I'm going to show you is one you find a lot in the ER. It's like 20, 30 bucks on any kind of scrub uniform store. It works fine. It's a little heavy, it's a little clumsy, uh, but it's got a nice uh, ear tips. Uh, this is something I'm going to say, when you buy the ear tips, make sure they're comfortable. If you try to listen to something and they don't make a tight seal, then you don't hear the sounds as well as you should, or other sounds get into your ear while you're trying to listen to the lungs or you're hearing to the, uh, listening to the heart. So the earpiece is actually the most important part of the stethoscope, because that's what's going to make contact with your ears, going to form a good isolation from other noises. Uh, but the diaphragm itself, Pretty much any stethoscope will do. Uh, the thickness of the um, stethoscope wire that does provide some insulation, so very um, conducts the sound to your ears. So that's important. That it's a good quality one, and you want a fairly good length. You don't want them really short because then you have to be all the way tucked into the patient to listen to stuff. Uh, so it has to be long enough so you can listen and be out here, you know, not on their face coughing on you, or if you're listening to their back, you reach on their back while you're still on the front of the patient. So that's a big one. So even though I've shown you here in this video different brands, Litman versus Tyco, I mean, they're all okay. I like the brand Litman. I've always bought Litman, but they're expensive. And when you're buying a stethoscope, I have a stethoscope every year, it adds up. So what do I use now? A disposable stethoscope. I got this from the hospital. They have them from like infectious diseases. I will use it once and throw it away. Produces great quality sound. It's loud enough for me to hear what I need to hear. Nice length. And what I did is I replaced their hard ear pieces. This is what it comes with. And I replaced it with the um, Litman ear pieces, which is soft tip and it's comfortable. When I put it on my ear, it isolates the noise and it comes out. So my best advice to you is don't spend the money. Buy yourself the cheapest stethoscope and buy yourself some extra ear pieces and make sure you get the ones that are most comfortable to your ear and that will do. That's all I can say about stethoscope. Uh, even though I love to say that you're going to make this awesome diagnosis of a murmur or a bruit, uh, in true practice, nothing changes by what you can hear on a stethoscope. You know if that patient's coughing and wheezing, you're going to get an extra, which will give you the information you need. Uh, you need, if you hear a murmur, you're going to get an echocardiogram, which will tell you what valve's messed up, whether they have a friction rub or whatever. Very rarely do you actually make a diagnosis by listening in.
So I'm sorry to be pessimistic, but that's the sad truth. With, with as much technology as it is now, x-rays, ultrasounds, CAT scans, and so on, there's really no need for a stethoscope anymore.